actually come on and do tutorials of the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. Not often because sometimes it just takes a little while to do. And if you've already been watching me do my makeup for an hour, and who wants to sit there for another few minutes and watch me do mascara? Well, we have one type of mascara right now, and it's the 3D Fiber Plus. And here is the mascara. It comes with a transplanting gel and the actual fiber lashes. These are made from nylon. And this is the little pouch that it comes in. And it just comes in a little pouch like this. And it is really easy to use. It's very user-friendly. The only thing that I suggest you do is learn it before you do it because it is a process. Sometimes I will curl my lashes and sometimes I won't. So any type of eyelash curler will work. Just be very careful that you don't pinch your eyelids. So this is what you do right here. You see my eyelashes in there right there? Just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. And you just clench just like this. Like that, and you already have a little curl. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to take the transplanting gel, and you're going to apply it just like regular mascara all over your eyelashes. Just like this. And you can actually wear this as regular mascara, if you'd like, or add the fibers. Today, we are adding fibers, and I'm going to show you just what this does. Now, you want to just do a light hand of the mascara. A little goes a long way. You don't have to do a whole lot. Now, this mascara has been tested by ophthalmologists, so if the fibers get in your eyes, it's okay. It's no big deal. And you're actually getting to see what the mascara looks like when it starts to, um, like, get older in a way. So, that's the mascara just by itself. Let me do a little bit more. The process is a little lengthy, but it's just like riding a bike. You learn how to do it, and then you're a pro. Just like that. So, you can tell the difference between gel and no gel. So now I'm going to go in with the transplanting, um, excuse me, I'm going to go in with the fibers. And what I like to do is I'm going to roll them on the back of my hand like this, and I'm packing the fibers into the wand. So what that's going to do is it's going to help with not as many fibers falling out onto my face. And what you want to do is just focus on the middle to tip with the fibers. You can go on the back and then go back on the front. Because the third step, what you do is you actually go back through and you're going to comb everything out. And when you comb everything out, you're actually bringing those fibers to the surface of your lashes. So you want to let that just kind of sit out and hang, hang out there for a little bit. Now, on the bottom lashes, I only put the gel. Just like that. And if you go side by side like this, it's going to help not get any mascara on the bottoms of your lid there. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go side by side. And a little mascara trick, if you'd like to add a little extra curl to your lashes, because face it, some of us ladies just have super straight lashes and we can't do anything about it, you can actually get a blow dryer, put a coat of each one of these on, transparent gel and the fibers, or if you're using any type of mascara, do that, get the blow dryer and put it on low heat and have it facing up like this. So say like this is the barrel of the blow dryer, you're going to have it facing up and just kind of look up and just kind of blow back and forth like this because what you're going to be doing is, one, you're going to be drying those fibers, and two, you are actually going to have them facing up. So you're just going to add that extra, like, uh, you know how us ladies will add, like, extra root lift in our hair and mousse and everything else and get the, the big volume hairspray? Well, that's what a blow dryer will do to your lashes. It's crazy. So I'm applying the gel on these lashes over here. And what's awesome about this mascara, if you do like the fibers, is that it's buildable. If you don't want to do the fibers, you can just leave it just like this. So you can see that I already have some volume with this mascara. It's very nourishing for your lashes. It's going to help them grow just like your hair on the top of your head. You need to condition it and you need it to grow. So that's what this mascara will do to your lashes. It's crazy. So here are the fibers. I'm going to pack them again on the back of my hands just like that and then I'm going to go in and focus mid lash to tip. And just make sure I'm evenly coating all my lashes with the fibers. And like I said, if it falls on your face or in your eyes, it's totally fine. These fibers are made from nylon. So they're completely safe for your eyes. Okay, now I'm going to close up my fibers because now it's time to go back in and seal these babies over here. And the third step is the most crucial step of the mascara process. One thing I forgot to tell you, there's a little window that you can see all the product here. I'm going to go in and seal the lashes. So if you ever have any fallout of the lashes, the fibers onto your face, it's only because you didn't coat them good enough. So if you're someone that feels more comfortable with a little extra bang for your buck, put one coat of regular mascara on. And then put the transplanting gel and then the fibers. You don't have to do that. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll just wear a throw-down mascara. And most of the time, I will actually just wear the gel by itself because it's that nourishing for your lashes. This brush was basically designed to help 
come through all of your lashes evenly. So that's what it does. It comes through your lashes and it comes through all of those fibers. And it's going to bring them, like I said, to the surface and bring them to the tips of your lashes. So it just gives that volume, that length, that fullness, that just amazing extension looking lash. So we're going to do the same thing on this eye. We're just completely coating. And I like to coat the top and bottom part of my uh, top lash line. And all mascara has to come with mascara face. So I know that that's what y'all are looking at. And when I get done, I always like to just go back and just kind of emphasize my little side lashes here and just kind of wing them out a little bit and just kind of fan them out just like that. So my lashes are completely dried. With, excuse me, the fibers are completely dried to my lashes. And now I've coated them and I'm good to go. So that is the 3D mascara in itself. Crazy good looking lashes. So that's that. If y'all have any questions, let me know.